I don't know about tarot, but maybe like palm reading and mm-hmm. stuff. And I was very drawn to it. And who uh, in the family was the palm reader? My father. Oh, wow. So it <laughs> runs in the family. I think we all are intuitive, yeah. Uh-huh. But no one, you know, kind of went to like go all in that kind of thing. I was the first person. Next time on Feeling Sisters, meet Ella, who tells us her story of how she transitioned from music to becoming a successful tarot reader. I was kind of like going through some stuff with that person and I actually started watching YouTube. I discovered your channel there. Oh. I'm like not even making this up. <laughs> and you are Scorpio, I think readings were like about my life. And I was watching and watching and I don't know, it was kind of like it all came together. Mm-hmm. I was like, let me just try, let me just put some videos out. And there you go. My channel just started growing very fast. So and you're a person who does not stop until there is no limit. So. Uh, like if I really want something, right? That's it. We go. Sometimes I just kind Which of like I'm not sure. Basically, you trust your intuition. New episode every Sunday on Eat, Read, Love. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. First off, let's throw some shade. It ain't Burger King, so don't come at my work. Tell me what to do. Open your own YouTube channel and build it your own self, okay? So you can do whatever you want. <laughs> YouTube is free, okay? So that's that. So click off, okay? <laughs> so now let's uh, start the introduction. Uh, March 21. Oh, you can also fast forward to uh, all the way to the reading. If you are an OG, you know the drill, all right? Um, there's no extended two for this one. There is an extended preview. Uh, March 21 and 22, uh, 28 is the webinar, the workshop for the entrepreneur. Um, so for those people who are trying to establish himself and how to manage, you know, the hate, you know. Because <laughs> it's hard to get, you know, to get things running when a lot of energies are, you know, trying to push you back. And I will tell you how you can make it. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. What else? Um, Good Morning Tea will be back next week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then what else? Um, I feel like that's it. Life is good every day. I'm so inspired. I'm so happy. I'm ecstatic. This is the time. I feel the time for happiness. Okay. So that's that one. Um, everything is in the description box for the extended link. We have um, webinars and workshop that are already recorded and ready for you to download. So you can learn Jupiter, Saturn, Venus. It's all down there. Um, there's also tarot classes also in the description box. Now, I think that's all that I have to say. And I'm doing tarot for, for this reading. And like what I mentioned, down there is comments, not complaints, not judgment. So you got to walk it off, okay? Because this channel is not for you if you're not a happy person. I sing a lot and I do whatever I want. Move along. I'll see you guys again. <laughs> so now let's go to your reading. All right, Libra, let's start your reading. How are you? Salbiodora, Instagram, follow it because I do post an IG story, um, transits every time. It's like every time, every day. There is a post there about where the moon is, um, nakshatra, planets, where it's entering, the degrees and all these things. So it's very, very helpful um, uh, you know, on the go okay? because YouTube does take time. So there you can get a, 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 you know, a snippet right away of what's happening for that particular day. You got me. Okay, so Salvador. Now let's begin your reading here for my Gemini. Okay, I sense here someone is batting, batting their, batting their lashes. Okay, maybe flirting, falling in love with you. Okay, someone is making you feel good. Someone is really making you feel good. I feel like you, it's a person who's dreaming. Um, like you're a dream to this person's life? An answered prayer? Who are you, Oprah? <laughs> oh yes, we can use an Oprah in our life. Okay. So, mm-hmm. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Do you have time for this though, Libra? Do you have time? Do you have time? Um, you're taking care of business, that's for sure, with the Six of Pentacles, your bills. Six of Pentacles is like paying bills, um, helping people. 
um, this is not the person that you're dealing with. I, you know, it's like this is not my bread. I mean, it's breadcrumbing card, but you know, it's like you're not doing this to anyone. Mm -mm. Someone can be needing your attention. Can be family. Someone is in need, but not the person. Mm -hmm. Someone's asking you for attention, but it's family. Financial support is here. The Six of Pentacles. Borrowing money uh -huh. is here. You could be giving loans to people. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands. Someone is very protective of you here. Mm -hmm. Or you are protective of yourself also. Someone is saying, like, do not disturb. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands is blocking. It's almost like you could also be focusing on your coins and you don't want to be disturbed. Or someone is around you and saying, it's like, you know, the, the Libra is focusing. Mm -hmm. Someone is also deflecting other people to get in touch with you. They want you to be theirs only with the Seven of Wands because you don't know this person, but they don't want... Because they work hard to get you, but you're, really, you're hard to get. Okay? You know, Sammy, Libra? And it took them so long, and now they don't want anybody to, you know, kind of possessive. Mm -hmm. Ace of Coins. So you gave attention to someone and they're appreciating it with seven of wands and they're they're very much like blocking. I don't sense you're blocking a new offer, you're blocking to offer someone. Someone you have talked to, message you, sees so much potential in the connection, they're appreciating it. Can be a new person. Because mm -hmm. it's deflecting. Guarding. You could also be guarding someone. You're very protective of this person. This I keep saying, I keep seeing protective of the person and you want an opportunity with them. Okay? So you might give an offer to someone. You're protective of them. King of Pentacles. It's a turnaround. You're getting an offer from someone here. It can be work related. You could be the King of Pentacles, you're superior, you're more older. But something here goes to zero to one hundred basically. Like out of nowhere you get an offer from someone. They mean it also. Whatever they're giving to you is very important to them. Ace of Pentacles. Time, exclusivity, date. Mm-hmm. Got a two of pentacles. Someone here does not know what to do, but they already done it anyway. Because six of pentacles with a two of pentacles, like they're too busy managing their life. This is business, career, finances. But they're willing to give you their time. You understand me? This person has so much things going on in their plate. This can be or them. Uh huh. But they're willing to say, all right, you know what? I'm making time to meet this person, to date this person, to give this um, as an opportunity. Under the seven of wands, get a tower. If someone is uh, holding back, they're gonna make that offer. Seven of wands with a tower. They're about to give this to you. You'll be so surprised. Yeah, you'll be so surprised. This is someone. Um, I don't know. Or you'll be surprised. A sudden change. The person who used to be closed off now opens up, because it took them time to be where they're at right now. Seven of wands. Their own success is hard to get to. Mm -hmm. Magician as above, so below. So now they're manifesting. You can be Virgo or Gemini. Someone is reeling you in and willing to give you the best of the best. I am, a, I want to be the very best. Mm -hmm. Pokemon, someone wants to catch you. Mm -hmm. Someone is trying to get your attention here. I don't know where you're at though, Libra. 
But I just know someone wants you and willing to give you everything. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. That's a star. As above, so below. So you are the answered prayer to this person's life. That's very positive. Um, you came into this person's life at the right moment. Okay? I feel like when life was not good, you are the good thing in their life. You're the good thing in their life. The star card with the king of pentacles. This is business, finances, and uh, how I feel here. Um, recognition, fame, being recognized for your business. Okay. If you have a business or your career being recognized also here. It can be work-related also. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, judgment, willing to commit, willing to give you everything. They're going to step up here, removing, willing to drop the ball for you, Libra. Mm -hmm. Willing just to move things forward now. Judgment, Two of Pentacles. They're coming for you, though. Yeah, Their mind is clear. This is someone who's like, uh, they're saying shoot for the stars. So someone here... Even though that you know you are gonna be hard to reach, they're aiming for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. But younger person, page of wands. Under the magician is page of pentacles, five of pentacles, in a star card. I feel like you're growing too fast, too soon, Libra. And this person is trying to catch up with you. Can be reconciliation with judgment. An apology is coming with the Page of Pentacles. There's two people here. Okay. One, your ex, <laughs> Libra, wants to say sorry for ghosting you. Okay. Now, the other person here does not want you to go back to your ex. But I don't know, are you going? Where are you going? Because you're all, I don't know where you are. Okay. But someone is definitely from the past, expect the person. Oh, dear Lord, I've seen this in another read. You're going to be, uh, not that you're going to be confused because you're, you know, you're a whole star, you know. But the new person is the magician. And there's two young people here, page of wands with the page of pentacles. Yeah, the, the new person, they don't want you to get hurt because they know how you got treated by the past. It's, I don't know what you're going to do. It's a good problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're in a good position here, okay? So I'm going to continue this reading, okay? Link down in the description box. Next is the extended preview. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye. We'll end the connection with the past. Yep, Empress, because the new person treats you, you and the Knight of Cups. So you will tell this past person, you walk away from me, Queen of Swords with the Eight of Cups. You found some, you got a Ten of Swords, you got a Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. See, you gave up Ten of Swords, now the past says it's no.